Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the full moon. Right? It's right around the full moon. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the full moon in May? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have? Five of Swords. This is a, feels like there was a standoff or something and somebody's given up. They're leaving, they're walking away. I don't want to be a part of this. Okay? Could have been a fight or there's going to be a fight or something because somebody's walking away. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You win. Uh, this is, I want to win at all costs. I want to be in charge. Somebody is wanting to be in charge. They don't care who they hurt. I can't take it anymore. So, hmm. Three of Wands. And going to come across something on their path after they left. It's interesting because it goes from this to this. So we, we have this. Somebody's been belittled or they've been in some sort of conflict. And I don't know why I said belittled, but that's what came out. Um, this guy is forceful. He's angry. He's upset. I'm out of here. And then along the path, you know, coming across something else. Something else is arriving. So it's interesting. This guy is, is has decided I'm not going to be a part of this. I'm not going to let you control me. I'm not going to fight with you. So I'm walking away. Somebody is walking away from a person that um, is very argumentative, argumentative, hard to deal with, um, powerful, um, controlling. So this guy is very controlling. Um, I'm out. And going in a new direction. And now there's something coming into uh, into his path. So there's something unexpected. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So there's something beautiful entering the scene. Okay? There is something beautiful entering the scene. It's magical. Hmm. Interesting. And this is, I mean, if you see the sun shining through the trees, it's walking towards happiness. Somebody is headed towards happiness. They're leaving behind a controlling situation. I'm not going to be controlled. I'm not going to fight. So this guy's a fighter. This one's out. And and on their on their path, they're going to run into something beautiful. Oh, Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed is well, typically it's an individual that is very jealous, suspicious, um doesn't have a lot to offer. And the Queen of Pentacles in reversed, stubborn. Um, not grounded, not realistic, unrealistic, jealous and suspicious. Hmm, I don't know how she plays in. Emperor, Emperor. Now the Emperor is the King of all Kings, he's the boss. He's making a decision, very decisive, knows what he wants. A lot of life experience. She doesn't, she's not giving anything. She's not giving anything at all. This emperor is very smart. He's making a decision or he's in this, he's in the chair. He's, he's making a decision. Okay. He's making a decision. This boss is making a decision. Very dominant. This is like an alpha male. He may see that she's jealous or possessive or something like that. She's not giving anything.
I gotta clarify this emperor. Very masculine. Seems a little distant. He has a tough exterior. Very, very tough. May have been in the military. Really, really, really good at mastering his emotions. So we have a very uh, rigid, perhaps distant energy that is... Um, this guy's tough. He's tough. He's hard to break. He's unbreakable. He's battle ready as well. He's a lot of life experience behind his back. Now we gotta, we gotta, we gotta clarify this Queen of Pentacles reverse. She's uh, insecure. She is definitely insecure. She has insecurity issues. Strength, strength reversed. So lack of self worth here. Lack of self-value. So we, we, we have this. He probably knows it. This is a very wise individual. May know something like that. This is vulnerable and weak. And reversed. It's also fearful. So somebody is fearful. Vulnerable. Weak. And feeling inadequate. We may have somebody here that feels like they're inadequate. With this strength reversed, there's some sort of doubt. There could also be a lack of respect. This guy is tough. I'm not sure. Let's see what's going on here. Two of Wands making a decision, the moment of decision. So there is definitely a decision that is being made. Do I go forward with this or not? So this is a two of wands. So we have a very dominant alpha masculine. Okay, this is a masculine. I feel like it is. This is a masculine that is making a decision. He's in the process of making a decision. But there, I think there's definitely a feminine here who is feeling vulnerable She's uh, jealous. She may, somebody's left. Maybe she's left the scenario or she's leaving the scenario because this guy is very tough. Very, very tough. Hard to deal with. Can be hard to deal with because he's, he's so masculine, you know, dominant. Very dominant. We have a lot of dominance here. But get prepared for something because be prepared. Something beautiful is arriving or it has arrived along the way. And we may have had an individual that pushed somebody away. This guy pushed somebody away and they may have ran into somebody else on their new path. You know, you pushed me away. You know, you pushed me away. So something else has shown up. That's what it looks like to me. Six of Cups, reverse, freedom from obligation. Letting go of the past. Somebody was clinging, clinging to some sort of memories. But this is being relieved of obligation. Not interested. Some sort of neglect. We got some sort of neglect here. We have somebody here that neglected an individual. Now, there could be an, a person that is not a very good mother. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse isn't very nurturing. And this could be child neglect. So this could be a judge or a boss or somebody in authority that is making a decision to relieve somebody of their obligations because of abuse. Okay, this is there's definitely some sort of abuse here. Whether it's mental abuse, verbal abuse, whatever it is. There's poor health. This is poor health. Somebody's health is declining. They may not be able to take very good care of their children or not taking very good care of their children. Or they didn't take very good care of their children. There's, they're, they're lazy. They're a financial mess. They don't have any stability. They're very insecure. 
weak. So there's a, somebody here that is weak, but this is a guy who has a lot of experience and can see it, can see that there's a, somebody that is not doing well. So this is somebody that is in a, a high position that can see that somebody is not doing well, not doing well at all. And they're about to make some sort of decision. Now it could be a father figure. This guy may be a father, he may be a boss, he could be a judge. A decision is being made. Somebody is going to be relieved of their obligations, maybe even as a parent. They could, you know, I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, but this is, that's a different story. Um, hmm. Seven of Cups. Now, Seven of Cups is a level of confusion. A lot of options here. There's options. Beware. Beware of false beginnings. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. So we do have a very masculine energy that is an authority that is making a decision but has lots of options. There's lots of options. So, and so he's really thinking about it. Definitely thinking about what he should do. He may be feeling vulnerable. He may be feeling vulnerable even. And a masculine doesn't like to feel vulnerable. You know, this guy may lack respect because the, the strength card reverse is, is, an, is an energy of lacking respect for others. So somebody may, may have somebody here that lacks respect for others, likes to be the boss at all times. And, jeez, oh, what the hell is going on? Nine of swords. We, this is very worried. There is an individual in this scenario that is very, very worried. Uh, struggling, having a lot of uh, despair, feels like this is this is overwhelming. Worried, very very worried, haunted for some reason, having a hard time sleeping, thinking too much, wondering if this is the right option. Should I invest in this? Should I invest in this? Because there's 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 there is some doubt here. There is some doubt, and there's a level of confusion. Should I? This is this is worrisome. So we have somebody here that is very worried about the other options. That they're, they're worried about um, maybe giving their power away. Queen of Cups, the past. There's something to do with repeating the past mistakes, maybe. Um, now the Queen of Cups in reversed is somebody that is hypersensitive in reversed. Clingy, needy, jealous, manipulative, shallow. So this is be careful with your decision. Be careful with your choice. There is definitely an individual here that is very needy and clingy. Right here, clingy. So, this, you know, we may have a masculine that is... Having a hard time letting go of his past, and I'm not sh I'm not sure if it's a masculine. It could be a feminine, because a lot of feminine do that as well. But this is clinging to the past, needing to let go of the past. And the, the Queen of Cups is in reverse. Is somebody that doesn't love. They're not emotionally available. They're not. Very wishy-washy. There could be some self-loathing here, which is causing somebody to think, is this what I want? Is this what I want? Now, the strength reverse, that's pity. We could have somebody here that looks for pity. Who wants somebody who is pitiful? Pity, pity, pity me. Who likes that? Anyhow, um, this guy is exploring his options. This masculine has an options. There's somebody from his past that um, didn't love him. And there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of anxiety about what is the best decision to make. What is the best decision? What is the best choice? Interesting. Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles, okay. So we're dealing with, it looks like we have an earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus here. Aries here. Um, 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Um, but we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Doesn't have to be. But this is... Uh, this is a higher power, the Hierophant. Guidance. Some sort of guidance. Now this guy has stability, security, a lot to offer. He has the Midas touch as well. He definitely has the Midas touch. There's no doubt about it. He's sitting pretty. He is sitting pretty. He is. Get prepared for an arrival. Because the higher power is bringing something stable in. This is a higher power. This is a godly energy. It is. If you believe. This is about believing. It's about faith. Walking away from the person that... that whoever walked away from this uh, abuse... Is walking into something beautiful. The higher power has brought. And they're bringing something beautiful. They have. Because somebody found their strength. To walk away from this situation. That is what we got here. Now there's a gift. This is a gift. Okay. That is a gift. That is a gift right there. Um, he's got the ace of pentacles in his hands. A solid opportunity. Something solid. Something that is real. But the king of pentacles doesn't jump doesn't move fast. This guy is practical. He's realistic. He's a hard worker. He focuses on his job. He focuses on his money. He wants stability in all areas of his life. He's very grounded. He doesn't live in fantasy land. He's not in a hurry. He doesn't even believe in that, probably. Most likely. Anyhow, um, Knight of Pentacles reversed. That is, uh, <laughs> oh well, the uh, Knight of Pentacles reversed is no plan. No plan. Not moving fast. No plan to go back to the past, thank God. He sees something beautiful. He does. But now he has to decide whether he wants it or not. There's fear. That's why the strength is reversed. This masculine is fearful. He's fearful. He's fearful of getting hurt again. Because of his past. He may be dealing with another queen who is jealous and possessive. But the, the Knight of Pentacles is some, something moving in reverse, uh, not moving, very slow. Very, very, very slow. This is also could be the Knight of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is unfaithful. Somebody that has food issues, lazy. This could be an unhealthy person, somebody that is very unhealthy. Somebody that um, is inflexible, is boring. It feels as though, it feels as though somebody is walking away from an abusive situation. They are being guided to do so. And I think they're walking away because they are dealing with somebody that is, or was, unhealthy, lazy, not qualified, had no long-term plan. Definitely neglected them. Somebody is walking away. This man may be too focused on his job. Too focused on his money. I mean, I don't really see any love in these cards. It looks like we have somebody that is hoping for the best, right? Getting prepared. Right here, getting prepared, but it may not, it may, and it's like, 
it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening as they thought it was going to happen or something like that. I think we have a masculine here that has multiple options and he's trying to choose which one he wants. Meanwhile, there is somebody that is really suffering. There is somebody that is really suffering, not knowing what the hell is going on. This is this is emotional. This is very emotional. It's a very emotional time. Um, six of Pentacles, reciprocation, give and take, equality, receiving. Somebody's going to receive something. What are they going to receive? Eight of Swords reversed. Now, Eight of Swords reversed is an obstacle being removed, a choice, a decision. The decision is being made. The Two of Wands is right here. This guy is about to make a decision. He's going to remove an obstacle. And maybe the obstacle is fear. He's definitely worried. He may be worried about um, having to give, having to give, you know, equally. This is an obstacle being removed. Now the eight of swords reversed is lies. So there's something, some, some, you know, stepping out of the lies, stepping out of the fear, stepping outside of the comfort zone. So this somebody's gonna step outside of their comfort zone, and they're gonna give. They're gonna give. They're gonna reciprocate. Nine of Pentacles. Now the nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very self-sufficient. Uh, it doesn't need another person happy on their own, abundant, very abundant, independent. Stable and secure. So this stable and secure individual that does not need anybody else Doesn't need another person. I, nobody, nobody completes me. I complete me. This is uh, independence. An independent person. They may, we may have an independent person that is worried about giving up their independence because they really like their independence. You know, that could be part of the fear. Seriously, there's fear here. There's fear. Fear of giving up their independence. Fear of commitment. Fear of marriage. So, don't want to repeat the past mistakes. So, we definitely have a masculine here that is thinking about his future. Three of Wands. Thinking about his future. Considering his past a lot with that Two of Wands over here. Considering everything that has happened in his past. But one more card. What is he going to do? Three of Swords reversed. Leave the past hurts behind. Thank you. He is going to leave those past hurts behind. That's great. Three of Swords in reversed. He's on the path to recovery. That's funny. On the path to recovery. He's going to release it. He's going to uh, keep healing. And he's ready. He's ready to leave the past hurts behind. So I think we have a masculine that has been confused. He's been thinking. He's been unclear with the Seven of Cups under there as to what he wanted. He's probably be dealing with an individual who wants a commitment. And, um, yeah, wants a commitment, wants to get married, whatnot, you know, whatever. And... You know, I feel like he is a little scared, so I think that he is thinking. I do feel as though he is going to reciprocate and he is going to decide to leave the past behind because, because he sees an opportunity for abundance, okay? He sees an opportunity for happiness, okay? I think that he knows. 
He knows this is a big opportunity for for happiness. Um, also, somebody could be getting a proposal because of this could be a proposal. Okay, somebody could be getting a proposal. Feels like there is going to be some sort of communication coming through. Um, I just cut it to the magician. This guy's going to take action. He is um, going to reciprocate. He's going to give something. Somebody's going to be receiving something. They're going to be receiving something that uh, they did not expect. There's a spider on the wall. That ain't good. Oh. Oh, God, I don't like it at all. But he's getting away. I don't like it. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to let him live. <laughs> okay, good luck. Good luck.